Okay, so this is a short video to go over Lab 1, Exercise 2, Lab Activity 1, the levels of organization of the body. So what we have here is we have a model that represents each of the six levels of organization. Now, it's not necessarily important to identify the model. What you're supposed to identify is the level that it represents. So for example, this model right here is a molecule of DNA, but it doesn't matter that it's DNA. What it matters is that it is representing the chemical or molecular level. Okay, next we have a cell. Obviously, a cell represents the cellular level of organization. Now, if you take two or more cells and they work together to do a job, we create a tissue. So this model right here, it happens to be smooth muscle, but you don't need to know that at this point. You just need to know that this model represents a tissue. So this is the tissue level of organization. Now, if two or more tissues work together to do a job, they create something called an organ. And so this is a stomach. This represents the organ level of organization, okay? And when you have several organs working together to do one particular job, we create the next level, which is an organ system. Now, this is obviously not the same system the stomach belongs to. This is a urinary system, but the model is to represent the system level. And then finally, when you have all of your organ systems working together, you get to the highest level of organization that would be represented by this guy. This is the organism level.